In practice, we get into many situations where we have to decide whether we have to use Z or T distribution. Here in this module, we'll look at the flowchart that help us to make decision. First of all, we ask a few questions. That if our population is normally distributed, if we are able to say that yes, it is normally distributed, the next question we ask is, is the sample size large? And if the sample size is large, the next question we ask is, if population variance known? If the population variance will be known with large, with large sample size and normally distributed population, the, the distribution we use will be a Z distribution. Similarly, for the normally distributed population with large sample size but population variance unknown, we could use T or Z because for large sample, T approximates pretty, pretty well to the Z distribution. But if for a normally distributed population, the sample size is not too large. Then we, for, then we ask a question that if the population variance is known, if the population variance is known, we use Z distribution. And if population variance is unknown, we use T distribution. But the other cases that if the population is not normally distributed, then the first question we ask is that is the sample size large? If the sample size will be large, then we talk about the population variance to be known, whether it is known or unknown. We use Z distribution where we take a help from central limit theorem that for large sample, the distribution of X bar approaches to the standard normal. But if for not normal probability distribution, having a small sample size, we ask a question that if population variance is known, whether it is population variance is known or it is unknown. If population is not normally distributed and sample size is pretty small, then both the situation, we will have some non-parametric test that will be applied, but not the standard Z or T distributions. To make an appropriate choice between using Z or T as the reliability factor, we must consider the sample size. Whether the sampled population is normally distributed and whether the population variance is known. Thank you.